Have you ever wondered what truly drives you? What's the reason you get up every morning and push through the challenges? If you're struggling to find that inner fire, and this video is for you. Today, we're going to uncover four powerful ways to figure out your why, your true purpose. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Philip. I'm on a mission to help you discover and live out your purpose. Knowing your why is essential. It's a foundation in everything you do. From the content you create to the life you build. But figuring out your why isn't always easy. That's why I'm here to guide you through the key strategies that will help you get there. Let's dive in. The first step to finding out your why is to start by being curious and ask yourself many questions. For example, if you're into fitness, ask yourself, why do I wake up every morning to go to the gym? If you're working 12 hour shift, ask, why am I putting all these hours? If you're starting your own YouTube channel, ask, why am I doing this? For some of us, it might be to escape the nine to five grind or to have more free time to do what we love, like spending time with our family. Whatever it may be, write it down. The more questions you ask yourself, the closer you get to your true why. Let's talk about be curious and ask questions. I wanna go more in depth into this. In life, how I got to what I am today, being curious. Think about how babies learn, they're curious. And even if you wanna dig deeper than that, you wanna learn more, ask a lot of questions. If you look at, for example, someone like a Warren Buffett, when someone wanted to interview him, during that interview, what happened was, Warren Buffett was the one asking more questions than an interviewer. You say, whenever you reach to a point as a Warren Buffett, you made tons of money. He knows that there's still room to grow. And, it's, it, and it doesn't matter how much knowledge you have, it's the fact that you're willing to still ask questions, even though you've hit such a high goal in life. And I believe that it takes a person to really humble themselves. And these are core values of being a Christian, being humble. No matter how much money I've made, I try to stick to that core principle of being humbled and asking questions because there's always someone that knows more than you. Great, once you start asking questions, it's time to dig deeper into your answers. Your initial answers are probably surface level. You might say you want to start a YouTube channel, make money, or gain followers. But what's really driving you? Ask yourself, what are my core values? Are you motivated by creativity, freedom, helping others, or something else? By digging deeper, you start to uncover the true motivation behind your goals and actions. Now let's connect this to something even more fundamental, your core values. On this channel, I'm here to help other small business owner to start up their own YouTube channel. I personally been in the small business industry for 15 years. My first business was a donut shop. My second business was a dry cleaner. I believe there's so much potential to create your own YouTube channel and how it could help promote your business. And so if you have a small business and don't have a YouTube channel, you're really missing out and it's that time to really get it going. Stop putting it inside, let's, let's do it together. And I'm here to help you do that. As far as the strategies that's provided so far, you found it helpful. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, stay up to date with the content that's coming up. Your core values are the principle that guides your decisions and actions in life. They represent what's most important to you. Things like integrity, compassion, growth, or contribution. When you identify your core values, you can align your why with these guiding principles, ensuring that everything you create is in harmony with who you truly are. Ask yourself, what values do I want to embody and promote through my work? When your why is rooted in your values, your purpose becomes clearer and more powerful. Identify your core values. If you follow this channel for a while, you might hear me say the word, as a man, we should keep our integrity being humble, being compassionate, having a mindset of servitude. These aren't values that I came up on my own. This is all values that I've learned as being a Christian, having a relationship with God. And this is something that, that helps me even start up this YouTube channel. 
Finally, let's talk about how to visualize your ideal future. Take a moment to visualize your ideal future. Picture yourself 5, 10, 15, or 20 years from now. What are you doing? Who are you helping? How do you feel about the life you built? And what legacy do you want to leave behind? This exercise isn't just about dreaming, it's about connecting with the vision that pulls you forward. Your why should be the driving force that bridges the gap between where you are now and where you want to be. By keeping your ideal future in mind, you'll stay motivated to overcome obstacles and push through challenges. Understanding your why isn't about creating content, it's about creating a life that reflects who you truly are and what you truly value. It's what will keep you motivated on the tough days, help you make decisions when you're at a crossroad, and ultimately is what will resonate with your audience because when you're passionate about your why, your audience can feel that connection. Now that you got these four strategies in your toolkit, it's time to start exploring your own why. Take the time to ask yourself these tough questions, dig deeper, identify your core values, and visualize your ideal future. Let's talk about passion. Give you a backstory. I've served on a worship team for more than 10 years, and I love and have a passion of playing on the drums. Unfortunately, I started building up carpal tunnel and I couldn't do it anymore. What I learned is during that process, I started thinking to myself, man, I, don't, I no longer have the passion. No, it's, the thing that I realized was is because I stopped practicing it. Passion isn't something that you lose. It's actually something that you just stop practicing. So it's the same thing with starting up your YouTube channel. Okay, figure out your why. I have a passion for creating content because it's what I practice every day. But once I stop practicing it, I will lose that passion. Let it sink in for a bit. It maybe not make sense right now, but just let it sink in. My why is actually something that I wish I could just say it out loud, but in time I will, okay? So make sure you subscribe because I will reveal that why. I could give you a small part of the why. My why is my ultimate goal 10, 15 years from now is to be able to be a public speaker. Now I won't say specifically what it is, but let's just say is to help the Cambodian people. I would just leave it at that, okay? I believe that someone's voice is powerful to make a difference in people's life. And I believe if you're watching, you have that voice. You just got to figure out your why because you need to have that strong why when you go through adversity. Believe me, I've gone to plenty during these past six months. Um, I'll give you a few examples. It's been difficult getting used to not using my left arm but it'll get better hopefully i've been to Cambodia eight times i hate flying so pawn my wife she knows i hate flying i even made a video about it and it wasn't scripted and it got eight thousand views okay did i plan that did i know it would get that many views no right I just put it out there. I didn't think about it, just put it out there. And it's about just being vulnerable, showing who you are. Even now, it's like I'm speaking off script and it's good for you, man. Like you gotta be able to practice getting in your element, finding that flow and be able to communicate in a way where you can just get straight to the point. If you don't have a go in mind where I think it's just pointless. Like I'm thinking long-term with this YouTube game. With that said, if you guys like content like this and looking to build confidence, my next video could help you feel more confident and talk on a camera with ease. So I'll see you on the next video. Click here. Have a good one.